What's cooking, cracking, and popping, YouTube? It's your boy Desert Eagle Gaming here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we tackle round two of season three of the World Series Manufacturers Cup Exhibition Series, representing McLaren, baby. This round took place at the fictional track of Deep Forest Raceway in Switzerland, and it was a pretty long race with 16 laps and a mandatory pit stop. We have a lot to cover, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right in. So, here we are, first race of the round qualified in P7. Here we go, lights out at Deep Forest Raceway. Reverse layout for the second round of Manufacturers Cup representing McLaren, baby. It's a mandatory pit stop uh, race with the mandatory tire change. We gotta go from medium to soft or soft to medium. In my case, it's gonna be medium to soft. Uh, first hairpin, <clears throat> first hairpin, no, no uh, victims. That's pretty rare. This portion of the race was uneventful, so we're just gonna fast forward it and jump to the action right away. Easy boys. Oops. Not bad. Yes, I was a bit too aggressive there, but I didn't ruin his race. Now keep watching. Oh man, come on. And yes, it's the same guy that I just overtook who just bumped me. And because of that, we're down to P14 from P6. How is that? How is that racing, man? Thanks, a-ho. I get some major damage. Major damage. At the hairpin, we were able to make a few overtakes. And as you can see, the Mustang guy is still not happy about it. Bro, you, you lost. Stop. And before even finishing the lap, we caught up to the driver who bumped us. Remember this name. Next round, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to put the brake balance on the rear. So here we are, we finished the race in a mediocre P11. Moving on to the next one. Let's go, baby! Lights out, baby! At Deep Forest Raceway in Switzerland, fictional track. Round two of the Manufacturers Cup representing McLaren, baby! Let's go! For this second race, I decided not to qualify because we only had a grid of 12 cars. I didn't qualify for this race, I qualified in P12, dead last. Oh, we're gonna see what we can do. Oops. Question for you guys, do you consider this move dirty, aggressive, or a racing incident? A few months later I get dealt an Uno reverse by the McLaren. As the race is progressing, everybody's keeping it tight and clean, everybody's making some nice maneuvers, just a few bumps here and there, but nothing dirty or intentional. Thank God for uh, ghosting. <laughs> By the end of the first lap, we were up in P9. Lap 3, I caught up to P8, who is none other than the dirty driver from the previous race.
And no, I didn't hit him or nothing, I just followed his line, kept it clean and waited for an opportunity to make a move. Very nice move. Can I keep it? Yes, I think so. P8. Slowly creeping upon team P7 here. About halfway through lap 4 I make my move on P7 and snatch it easily. Let's go! By the end of lap 4 we are officially in P7. P7. We keep pushing, fellas. Consistent so far. In the 135s. Lap 6, I was almost able to snatch P6 but failed. So I decided to do what I did with Mr. Araya just follow the line and wait for him to make a mistake. For some reason, some gamers get stressed when they're followed closely behind and make mistakes. And finally, lap 7, I was able to take advantage of an open line and move up to P6. Yeah, I shook him up pretty good. Almost 2.8 seconds ahead of him. And we worked up some pitters, so we're up in P4. No, P5. I think I'm gonna pit soon. Could we go now? Yeah, let's go now. We only lost two positions in the pitch, which is not bad at all. But we're pitting right behind P6. Very advantageous. Very advantageous position. I'm gonna give him some space to do, to do his turn first. Lap 11 I was finally closing in on P6 and then this happened. That was completely my fault. At the end of lap 13 I lose yet another position and move down to P9. One lap later I reclaim P8 in the same corner. Lap 15, P8 as we overtook. Kamdudu just went off track. Push for P7. Final lap of the race, I catch up to P7, Mr. Araya, the dirty driver from the previous race, and just watch and see what he's gonna do. Come on, dude. I know, very dirty, right? But this time I'm not gonna let it go. I knew it. Well, we're gonna play that game then. That's what you get. I can't tell you how satisfying that was. So after 16 laps of mayhem, we crossed the line in P8, which is not bad at all. Let's look at one more race. Checking like two, three, but the two, 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 but the two, two, and the two, two, two. Let's go, lights out at Deep Forest Raceway, reverse for the second round of Manufacturers Cup. Representing McLaren, baby, let's go. 16 laps with a mandatory pit stop, 
mandatory tire change and the usable compounds are mediums and softs again for this race i didn't qualify starting at the back of the grid in p13 yes baby let's go very nice double overtake first hairpin we already move up to p11 And just a few moments later, during lap 1, we catch some mayhem, which moves us 3 positions up the grid in P8. Second lap, we catch a penalized driver, serving a 5 second penalty, moving us up to P7. We're gonna bump drop him. Let's go, boy. Now let's bump drop the dude. Oh, I remember this guy from round 1, actually. I have him on a video where I thought he uh, killed me, but he didn't. Yeah, right, I remember you, bro. Actually, a clean racer. Lap 4, I overtake P6, who felt like kissing the wall. Oh, dang. Sorry about that, bro. We're up in P6. After Mr. Almeida crashed. P5 now after overtaking a pitter. A bit too soon though to pit now. Oops. I'm not gonna overtake him. We race clean here, boys. Unless someone hits me and I need to retaliate. Lap 7. I'm down to P5. Right behind P4. From round 1. Mr. R. Almeida. From Brazil. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty rare where you find a clean Brazilian racer in this game. Oh, what was that, man? He actually sent me a message after the race saying sorry, it wasn't intentional. Lap 9, Mr. Almeida serves a 1 second penalty, which moves us up to P4. At the end of lap 9, we move to P3 as we overtake a pitter. Oh, we're not gonna pit now. Okay, let's pit now. We're on the softs, let's go mediums, no refuel. Alright, P3, that's actually pretty good so far, being that I started back at the grid. Oh, we lost a total of 3 positions, not bad. So like I just said, coming out of the pits in P6 is pretty good being that I didn't qualify for this race. P5 as we overtake Mr. Rush the Joker in the pits. Alright, not bad. Final turn of the final lap, I have a gap of 6.2 seconds between me and P6, so this is gonna be a P5 finish and the best finish I had during this round. Alright, P6. No, actually, <laughs> my bad, P5, let's go. This is the best result I had in this round. It's been a chaotic round, guys. A hell of a round. The driving standards are going down and down and down and down. It's getting crazier out there. Eight positions raised, yes sir.